Hello, everyone. My name is Samson Magid. I'm a co-founder of HealthSnap Solutions. Uh, we are a digital health technology company uh, out of and in partnership with the University of Miami. Um, if I had to describe us in one sentence, I would say that we help health providers effectively integrate and use lifestyle data in their practice to prevent chronic disease. So just really quickly, uh, the state of healthcare right now, uh, similar to the 1950s and 1960s, we're currently dealing with an epidemic uh, in silent, non-communicable, uh, and most importantly, preventable chronic diseases. Uh, think diabetes, hypertension, uh, obesity, uh, causing healthcare costs to, to surge, as you can see. Uh, what isn't helping right now is that our model is really set up for failure. Uh, we treat symptoms as, as a disease care model, um, as opposed to the root causes of those conditions in the first place and preventing them from happening uh, at all. Um, you know, think about it as your child coming home from school every day with a cut on his arm <clears throat> and placing a Band-Aid on that cut uh, and saying, you know, have fun tomorrow, every day doing that and repeating that, instead of just simply educating that child to stay away from the dangerous area in the first place. It's the same concept. So what the system is doing to try to combat rising health care costs is shifting from a volume-based model where providers are incentivized on fee-per-services to a value-based model. And that's placing pressure on providers to look for tools to align themselves up and in value-based care improve outcomes. Uh, and because the root of all chronic diseases is lifestyle behavior, uh, providers are looking, uh, and all research is pointing to lifestyle medicine uh, as a systematic approach for providers to align themselves effectively in a value-based model and combat the burden of chronic diseases. Uh, there's a couple problems though. Uh, if you look at today's healthcare right now, there's four major barriers to a provider practicing uh, effective lifestyle medicine. Uh, the first is that it takes a long time. Uh, time is the most valuable resource for a clinician, um, and they simply don't, just don't have the resources to sit down with a patient and evaluate their lifestyle behaviors. Uh, the second is the, the gold standard testing are very invasive. I'm sure you can all agree uh, that no one likes invasive or stressful testing, uh, and unfortunately, the gold standards require uh, invasive and stressful testing. Uh, the third is the cost. Um, those equipment, the, the pieces of equipment to do those testings typically cost anywhere from you know, $10,000 and upwards, uh, and they require specialists like nutritionists or exercise physiologists to run those tests. And the last is the interpretation of all that data. How do you make it meaningful? Um, and, and you know, even if a provider did take the time and the effort to do all the bells and the whistles, at the end of the day, a patient is typically left and a provider is left with raw data uh, simply asking, so what now? What do I do uh, with this lifestyle data? As exercise physiologists, we wanted to make it easy for a provider to practice effective lifestyle medicine. And so we've developed an electronic lifestyle record. Uh, imagine an EMR specific to lifestyle data to minimize the cost, invasiveness, uh, and time associated with practicing lifestyle medicine. So I'll break down, um, again, uh, a little, little portion of how the, the platform works. Uh, so we're standardizing and simplifying three unique portions of evaluating a patient's lifestyle health. Uh, the first is the collection of lifestyle data. Like I said, it typically requires long testing uh, or invasive testing. Um, from our research at the University of Miami, we've taken that evaluation portion from hours down to just a couple of minutes. The second part is the interpretation of that lifestyle data. Like I said, at the end of the day, when you do a DEXA scan or you do a VO2 max test, for example, you're left with raw data that really doesn't have much action associated with it. Uh, using established research in the fields of exercise, science, and nutrition, we're able to, to transform raw data into a personalized lifestyle report as if a patient had just spent a full hour with an exercise physiologist or a nutritionist. Uh, the vision from us from day one when we started off at the university as a research initiative was that every time a, a patient is prescribed a medication, whether it's for cholesterol or, or high blood glucose, uh, they're also given a, a lifestyle, personalized lifestyle prescription alongside it uh, with the ultimate goal of eliminating the need for medication in the first place. And the last portion that we, we impact is the tracking of lifestyle data. Uh, to prove outcomes, you need to track and show progress over time. And our platform is a secure and centralized database to store a patient's lifestyle data. So where are we today? Talking about the, the, the prototype concept and you know, when you go to market or when you generate revenue, uh, we kind of took it you know, bulls by the horn and decided, hey, let's go out and get feedback right away. So we took a prototype. Uh, very simple and put it out in the market. And we've actually su successfully launched and had providers paying on a monthly subscription basis um, as a way to, for them to evaluate their patient's lifestyle health from a wellness service as well co as collect lifestyle data. Uh, over the past year, we've, we've got, gathered a tremendous amount of insight and feedback that we've directly incorporated into our electronic lifestyle record. 
Uh, and just uh, kudos to DataArt. They've been uh, amazing in, in our success, and, and we're very excited. We're actually launching uh, next week, so we're very excited to introduce uh, our electronic lifestyle record to providers around the country. Um, some of our providers so far have, have ranged from primary care, concierge practices, uh, to anti-aging and functional medicine and internal medicine, uh, and even dietitians and chiropractors. Uh, some future directions for us. So uh, as a, you know, aside from being a standardized tool to evaluate their patient's lifestyle health, uh, we're really looking for strategic partners that share our vision that prevention and not treatment is the future of medicine. Uh, so we see our, our platform as an invaluable tool for, tool for EMR companies, for insurance companies during open enrollment to stratify risk, uh, and then for corporate wellness programs to evaluate uh, employee wellness very quickly and easily and be able to collect a, a tremendous amount of data on those, those employees. <clears throat> and then in addition, um, we believe our, most, our, our you know, highest value comes from the type of data that we're collecting. Um, like I said, um, you know, lifestyle data is typically difficult to obtain. Uh, we're doing it in a way where we're getting very unique data points. So in the future of health analytics, we view that uh, gaining the ability to combine lifestyle data with traditional claims and clinical data is going to fill a much needed gap in the space of health analytics. So our mission at HealthSnap is to create a new standard in healthcare by bridging the gap between lifestyle and medicine. And as healthcare is shifting towards a value-based model, making meaningful data-driven decisions based on lifestyle has never been more important.